my liege. You called. I answered. Even though my head's pounding for that. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> Brilliant. Looking beautiful as ever. Tell me. I haven't been on a date in ages, man. Like, what's up with that? I blame this whole pandemic thing, to be honest with you. The, pan the pandemic? Yeah, that's what it is, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Here's Mr. Chirpy now. Where was this lad last night? What's wrecking your gaff and you sitting in the corner looking at a bottle of beer all night? Oh, you stop. You wrecked the gaff. I had good company, man. I had good company. <laughs> right, well, you called. What's up? What's up? I don't know, man. Like, do you want breakfast? You know, no, I don't want breakfast. I'm dying. <laughs> Come here. You were a bit quiet last night. Is everyone all right? Yeah. One of those nights, man, that's all. Hmm. Tommy, I've known you all my life, man. You don't have off nights. Do you want to have a chat or something? Because if you do, I go grab me ma. She come down and wear the hair off yesterday. Me and Maria will go for that coffee. As much as I love you, ma, I'm, I'm all good. I like it. You know when you're ripping the piss. What's up? Listen, it's hard to explain, yeah? so I'll just... Give it a go. I've got nowhere to be today. I mean, it's hard to explain because you can't... You can't see what's going on. So I'll... Up here. <laughs> and with everything going on nowadays, it's like this has more time to... to turn on you than ever before, you know? Although, it doesn't seem that way for everyone else. When I look at our Instagram stories, looks like everyone's having a... Fucking ball of a time. We are, man. We're having a ball. Ah, don't mind Instagram. I look like Brad Pitt in my Instagram, man. Mm. Yeah, don't worry about that crack. What about you? What's up? I don't know. It's like... I try to put words to what's going on, you know? And the words don't make sense sometimes. And then other times, I think I'll sound like a complete moron, I would say. So, <laughs> so I say nothing. And of course, I think I'll be locked up for saying how I actually fucking feel. Nah, no, man, you'll not get locked up for talking. You will get locked up if you try and jump in the liffy again at half two in the morning. Yeah, Baltic outside, you off your head and booze, and you think you're gonna go for a swim? <laughs> Absolute idiot, man. Tommy. No one's gonna lock you up here, man. Just us. Talk to me. John, it's like that. It's like. It's like me head is a car. But I'm not driving. I'm in the passenger seat. And I don't want to drive. And even though that makes me sad that I don't want to, it just always makes sense to let someone else do the driving, you know? It gives me all the time in the world to just relax, look out the window and watch everything just pass by. I don't care who's driving, as long as it's not me. <laughs> and, and that's what I do, I sit there, I get lost in, in an emotion of my own thoughts as I'm being driven. I mean, I always get to where I'm supposed to go, but, but I'm not in control, you know, but I don't feel like I'm in control. So I'll get from A to B, and nobody on the outside will know what's going on because I look like I'm driving. You know, I'm in control. I keep smiling, I keep joking, keep moving. And that's me life, deck. that's it. Just wizened boy. Blur of images that just move too fast for me to, to catch them and hold on to them. You know, say, hey, I, I have you, let me just enjoy this one for a minute. <laughs> they always seem to just like slip. Or I let them slip, I don't know. Now, of course, if I was driving, I'd be able to take control of things. But it's not me, you know, whatever it is up here, the fog, 
as I like to call it, always makes me feel like I can't. Man, half of us are just freewheeling all the time, like, I don't know. Just go for a drive. Can't, that's what I'm trying to... I don't even know what happened if I did, you know? It's like, I feel like I belong in the passenger seat. You know, because I'm comfortable there, I can, I can lay low, you know, go and notice, not needing to be sure of where I'm going. I, mean, I still feel lost sometimes. But I would, you know, without destination. I mean, you take the wheel, don't you? You know where you're going, what you're doing. I know you do, and I'm envious of that. I, I look on at people and I'm, I'm jealous of people that know where they're going. Because I just want to be able to go on my journey. So even though I want to go, you know, I want to go somewhere and not be fucking afraid. I feel stuck. I just feel stuck up here. Man, there's nothing to be afraid of. But I've always been afraid. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You just can't see it. You know, afraid to fail, afraid to succeed, afraid to fucking... It's like it's layered, you know? It's like it's layered deep within me. It's like I was made that way. And I always feel a scratch and neck away, always beneath the surface. It's like a constant hey, fight in the arms. You're okay, man. You're okay. I'm always anxious, Dick. It's like anxiety knows me. It's like it knows it's not my place to to take the wheel, you know? My place is right where I've always been. In the passenger seat. It's like this head of mine, man. It's, it's in a, like a long-term car park, you know? No one. I parked up there. So there's nothing going on, you know? It's like the, the doors are locked. The windows rolled up. And I'm sitting there in silence trying to haul myself together, but you won't see what's going on because you're not. You're not in my car and it's exhausting, Dick. <laughs> it's exhausting because I can't move, I can't get out. And there's no one at the wheel, you know? Keys are sitting there, like looking at me, waiting for me to. But I'm so afraid I can't even get into the driver's seat. I can't get up and do anything. So I just sit there in silence. And I'm not going to ask for help because people just think I'm being over dramatic, you know, making a mountain out of a molehill. I mean, could you imagine that? Like, <laughs> excuse me, I can't get out of my head. Can you help me? <laughs> so I just sit there, suffocating in my own vehicle, man, and I've no way out. You know, I, I can distract myself, I can turn on the music, I can turn up loud, but sometimes it just doesn't keep negativity away, you know? When I look out, there's no one there. That's hard, man. Just tell me. When you put it like that, I think I do know what you mean. Jesus, man, I'm sorry. I had no idea you were feeling this bad. We could do it having a few of these chats more often, buddy. <laughs> For both of us. Alright, seriously, I need a dip now. Do something about it, then, will you? Maria? Me? You? Your place, nine o'clock? No. Do you want to go? Yeah, fucking get out of here. Come on. <laughs> Quick. Jesus Christ, man.